Because I mean, y'all should be feeling real good. Because like 2020, I know we're going through a lot, but blessings on blessings. We got babies. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now. We got new houses. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess 2020 ain't that been you lit. Know, it's, it's, it's been lit for it's me. Lit. Okay. Yeah. All right, so you know what? We're going to just set this little vibe. We're going to start off with, like, a little game. It ain't going to be too much. But y'all know um, on TikTok how, you know, you close your eyes and you point to the person that does yeah, right. So we're going to start uh -huh. off with that. We got, like, maybe four questions, okay? All right, All right so we got to close our eyes and point. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. All right. Who's the messier brother? <laughs> Who spends the most money? Okay. Who was or is the biggest flirt? <laughs> Who is likely to cuss somebody out? <laughs> Who is the better writer? <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, just enough. <laughs> oh, okay, we good. <laughs> that good, that good, all right. So leaving on that um, question, y'all know y'all got a new song out right now. Mm -hmm. Yep, all yeah, for new. Yes, uh, we feel, uh, feel we actually good. feel really good about it. It's actually something different than than any other song we ever released, you Fact. know. Um, so, you know, we just put it out to test, you know, just trying new things. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, can we expect this vibe? Or like, are you guys gonna give us an EP as well? Or are you just kind of trying to see how this? Yeah, works? actually, actually, uh, we want to do. Um, our album is actually finished, so we Yo, just we, we just fin we just figured out a plan right now to like. Roll everything out. We finna shoot music videos to the songs now. And then everything gonna be a, like we're just preparing. And then we're gonna drop a few songs and then album gonna come but out. But when we do drop, mm -hmm. it's gonna be crazy. We so it's a song for all for you, is it gonna be like on that type of vibe? Uh, that's just we're gonna do all type of vibes to be honest. Yeah. Like, that's one thing we're not gonna stick to one genre. We're gonna do some R&B, but we also gonna do pop in. Um, uh, Offer You is a pop slash R&B record, which, like I said, is something different than we ever put out. But no, you can expect still the R&B, the full R&B songs as well as some of the, you know, bigger records like pop mm -hmm. slash R&B. I feel like y'all have, so, have to have like a lot of music. Yeah, you no, know, that's the thing. It's like we've been still like during this quarantine, we've still been recording. It's like we just keep recording better songs and we just so tired of holding it all but it's like it got to be put out right, the right and at the right time you know what i'm saying so i know it's a lot of people because you know a lot of our fans they've been you know just like when is it coming and we had to keep telling them you know it's coming and then it wouldn't drop so we're just getting that everything is being figured out but we still just been going hard but it's like we keep recording new songs and they mm -hmm. better than the anything. song the night before yeah so it's like we just like, and then we just end. It's just hard to really decide which song we want to release first, mm -hmm. you know. So we just that's, but it ain't. We're just really trying to roll everything out the right way, especially with the pandemic and everything going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And with this pandemic going on, I know y'all have been seeing like the um the verses where you know artists go head for head yeah. with their songs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was like a YouTube version of. Who would y'all want to go head to head with? It's like, like artists that you know, because a lot of people start on YouTube, but they have other talent, so they go from there. Like, right. who would y'all want to go with? Um, we, I really, really, <laughs> we don't really, really know, but we, we do know, like, okay, Chloe and Holly. Um, those are somebody like people we've watched since they were little girls and stuff, like just doing the covers. I would want us to go back and forth with covers, Probably not competing, not mm -hmm. competing like, oh, we sound better or they sound better, but they just have covers with millions of like views and stuff because they did the same thing we did. Like, well, we did the same thing they did as far as when they would drop, you know, like, um, every week and stuff like that. And then we did the, like later on when they stopped, we had started and that's when we started doing the mashups and we was doing it, dropping one every week. Mm. So really, I feel like that would be fun on live. Plus, you know, um, we're cool with them. They're like, um, it would be fun. Like be fun. not competing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that would be fun. Like to play but they got a lot of M's on their stuff, just like us. Yeah, so. that, yeah. that's why it'd be fun. It'd yeah. be a good, good versus. 
No, I definitely will because that's how we know y'all from like the um covers and everything. Are y'all gonna yeah. still like do that a little bit? I know it's the pandemic, mm -mm. so uh, we don't don't know. Do, we'll do it. I mean, I do some from time to time on my Instagram, but this is not nothing I do where, like every day. When we do do covers, if we ever do like mashups and stuff, it'll be with our own original songs now, yeah. instead of like you know like other people's songs. I got you, got you. And so, like, with I know you got some music. You know, you guys are trying to plan on how you're gonna put that out. But what else can we expect from y'all? Because, like I said, y'all are like growing up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got babies. You know, so what can we? Well, he got a baby. Well, yeah, you got a baby. He got a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Right, but no, um, you could just expect us to really, really get to the next level. To man, be to, to be honest with you, I'm very excited about a project that me and him did. We done had it for like a year, yeah, and it we just got word on you know, what I'm saying just like the like, the yeah, it's, 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 it's very, very like dope. And that I'm like, we just have so much dope stuff to put out and to show everybody who's been waiting. You know, and I just can't wait because I just know it's not people are not gonna feel let down even though they've been mm -hmm. waiting for for so long because we've still been working during certain things we've been going through and stuff like that. So we just ready, but yeah, I I also came out with my own skincare line during this uh pandemic thing too. Mm. So I'm gonna need whoever watching, you know, go check that out. <laughs> What's yeah. that? Uh, it's called it's True Skin. True Skin. What made you decide to do that? Uh, I had, like, very, very bad skin for years. Like, growing up in school and stuff, I, I had really bad skin, like bumps, hyperpigmentation and stuff like that. And I start, I um, got products and stuff, and they worked for me. So I just came out with my own. And the same stuff I use is the same stuff I'm selling. So, oh, wow. yeah, so that's what made me come out, come out with it. Because I was just like, you know, and everybody was asking, like, um, how, what did I use and stuff like that. So I just came out with my own. Let's wrap it up for my man. Doing, he's, he's selling out every time, too. Let's wrap it up for him. selling out every, yeah, every man. single time. So. Yeah, because I just seen somebody in the comments say it's sold out. So, okay, look at you. You're <laughs> <laughs> going crazy. All right, and so let me ask you, like, right now, um, the <coughs> industry, what do y'all feel like is, or maybe, an obstacle for you, um, like, you know, just getting your music out the way you want to? Not with the pandemic and everything though, but just in general. Uh, this, um, let me let me answer this, and it it has nothing to do with the industry, but it's just that I feel like since we came out because we didn't come out as YouTubers, right? Like we came out as Armand and Trey, the dudes that seen. You get what I'm saying? God just blessed us with the talent for us to be funny, so people would accept us in that world. You know what I'm saying? And start doing pranks on each other. We actually did that so that. It's actually all the strategy. You get what I'm saying? Like, we did that so our fans get to know us better, in which it did. But I mm -hmm. feel like the thing for the music industry with us is that no matter how dope or how hard we is, it's always going to be something attached, like, oh, the YouTube or they oh, yeah. used to do covers. or You get what I'm saying? So I yeah, just feel really, like... Yeah, we're going to break out of that. Though, yeah, I feel like with, with next, this... With the next the next songs, songs you got, I feel like we just got better yeah. and better and better. Another thing is we come from social media, so it's a lot of people in the industry that feels like we didn't have to work as hard because like, oh, they used to like they do covers right. or they're just Instagram or they're just YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So it's just about breaking that uh, barrier. But honestly, I'm, we not too much worried about it because mm -hmm. we know it's gonna happen because we work way too hard to. For it not to happen so and plus now all these artists are trying to do what all they yeah. owe you because like at the end of the tour and never had a mainstream song you get what i'm saying is because of that youtube following this these people feel like they really know us you get what i'm saying so now these bigger artists are trying to jump on the train it's like oh shoot like we just seen them sell out this and we got hit records so let's Try to do something different, so it's all coming together to be honest. But yeah, I, it's just really just a matter matter of time, and you know, I'm honestly, yeah. I'm honestly just happy, like you know, certain things to happen because let us drop our project end of last year or beginning of this year. Yeah. With this pandemic stuff going on, we wouldn't have been able to travel nowhere. We wouldn't mm -hmm. have been, we wouldn't have been able to do no shows. Thanks. Like let's say we blew up, we wouldn't have been able to support and go out and do what, interviews, what going and on, go to BT right. Awards, and like perform, right. and you know what I'm saying, Facts. different stuff. So really, everything happened for a reason. So. Really, we just learning to be very, very patient. Like, we're mm -hmm. growing into, you know, men, honestly. So, you know, we just been being patient. We know when it's our time, it's going to happen. 
you know, like, and like I said, the stuff we finna put out is way better than any other music we ever put out. Yeah. Right. And, you know, I know a lot of people feel that um, with this pandemic, we know it's like, you know, really hard on a lot of people. But some people feel for the music industry, this is actually really a good time because so many people are tuned in online, you know, and actually getting the vibe of the music, not just, you know, in their everyday lives. So do you guys feel like it's a good but, time? <clears throat> yeah, but when I did my research on music and how it's being streamed, it's low. Mm. Like, it's low right now. Like, people not really listening to music like that. That's crazy. No, it, was, it actually well, well, Some people are, but I think they were saying, like, the, the, the stuff was showing, like, <clears throat> people are watching TV and, you know, different stuff because they're in the house. You mm -hmm. know, people get in their cars to go play the radio and, like, mm -hmm. listen to music, fence to go yeah. over here. But it's, you know, people listen to music. We're sure, they were but that show down. it's probably, yeah, because people not in their car yeah, going not, to yeah. different yeah. go places, yeah. Yeah, that's but, why we online okay <laughs> <laughs> but no man i feel like what what we got coming on uh as far as what we the project that we're working on now that we just got a quote back for today i feel like that is gonna be crazy mm -hmm. like, yeah like i said we had so much stuff we was working on even during the certain issues we was you know we was having during that time it wasn't personal issues you know everybody have issues as far as like when it comes to labels when it comes to different stuff so you know, we were still working super hard during that time. So it's like, now when it's time to put everything out, we feel good about it. Mm -hmm. It's not like, oh, well, this isn't that good. or Because we were literally still in the studio every single day. Even though it seemed like we had left, like, you know, the YouTube stuff. And, like, it seemed like it was kind of like we were done or wasn't really doing anything or we was chilling. We was literally just working. Because mm -hmm. I think everybody expected the YouTube videos to continue every day. But it's like we were we we're artists first. Yeah. Anyway. So, you know, we still have to go in the studio and record every day. And I'm talking about not just for hours. We be we yeah, was in there yeah. hours, like every yeah. single every single day. So when everything come though, I feel like all of our fans and supporters is, is gonna be worth it. Like they're gonna be happy. The ones who still you yeah, know what I'm saying, supporting and been waiting this long. Yes, definitely. And what, like, for each of you, what do you feel like is your biggest strength with your music? Like, you know, some people feel um, they're better writers, but they know they can sing. So what do you feel each of your, like, strengths are when it comes to the game? I feel like our strengths is really everything. I, I, mm -hmm. I mean, we're we're still growing every, every single day. Like, our writing is better, which is why these songs is yeah. coming out way better. They're having a meaning to it. You know, we still got turn-up songs, but a lot of the songs... You know, they have meaning to it and stuff like that. But I feel like we really, I feel like we're dope all, all the way around, like as yeah. far as singing, singing while like vocals, like we we mix, mix it all together. So we give like the modern day type of music, but we still want to add a couple of vocals. And y'all know me, I'll be, be extra. <laughs> I'll be being extra on track. No, I, love I, that gotta, though. I always got to add a run somewhere. I got to. Like, I, ain't, I understand people not people <laughs> sing rapping on these songs. And, you know, like the new songs that's coming out, it sounds that people probably wouldn't expect us to do, but it's actually dope. You know what I'm saying? I, but I still got to add the singing. You know, I always got to do it. I always got to be extra. Like, I just got to. <laughs> hey. You got to. Uh, but I think that's your style. I think that people expect that. So it's like, I don't feel like they think it's extra. It's just your style. Yeah, you know? right. <laughs> no, it's so, okay. With um like like you said, a lot of people are like sing rapping on a lot of songs. Do you think that's like the new wave for like R and B music? Because everybody says R and B music is dead. I don't feel like it. I just feel like um, I, I mean like it's it's not even that it's dead. R and B is not dead. It's still R and B around, but it's just not the R and B that you know we grew up on. Like you know what I'm saying like the. The old school R&B. It, it's not like that. No I ain't heard. Of, but what, when the last time we heard the R&B? I song? mean, but certain people's songs, it's R, it is R&B. But the thing is, a lot of rappers are doing a lot of songs that R&B too, because they're they're basically but, singing, but they're but my rappers. thing is, <clears throat> okay, so we got country music, and then we got Lil Nas X. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. How you brought the two together? Mm -hmm. That's not really country music, but you can call it country music. What they're doing is not really R and B music. Like the last time we really heard, when the last time we really heard an R and B song? Mm. Like we haven't really heard we we haven't really heard it. But it's only I because. Mean, nah, bro, cause we, I mean, but that's really but have. hear me out. Listen though, but that's why Jacque said what he said. He the king of R and B because he's the only one doing R and B for real. You get what I'm saying? He was the only one really doing R and B records. So he like yo, 
I'm the king at it. Because right. I'm still doing it, and I'm doing numbers while doing it. So I got to Y'all, the R&B people don't want to do it. So you feel what I'm saying? That's why I feel like R&B is, is dead because the R&B singers don't want to do R&B. You know what I'm saying? We got R&B I mean, out here rapping. I mean, technically, I feel like, I feel like, but you know, you still got to do what's in because, like, I feel the same way you feel, but it's like, sure. at the end of the day, the <laughs> R&B records aren't selling. The singers who are underground and trying to do R&B is not picking up, and then it's like, it's not current. So it's but, like, you're not doing anything current. Yeah, It's facts. not gonna... But that's the, the reason why is because we don't see the greats that's right now doing it. Yeah, because they the honestly, greats are not honestly, making it acceptable to the public. I mean, public. but honestly, the greats mm -hmm. have been around for a long time. So the people like Chris, Beyonce, Rihanna, all them, right. they're, they're, they they want to try different stuff because they've been around for so long. They're trying to, you know what I'm saying, explore different things. But it's just like right now, it's just the, the rap singing stuff is it's in. in at all you know what I'm saying? Hip-hop. You know, and that, like, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, one thing about us, we know, like, to stay relevant and to be current. I mean, to stay relevant, you got to be current. You know what I'm saying? Your music got to be good, and it has to still be current. You can't just think you can do right. what you would like to do, you know. But we try to just mix the two and do the modern, like, sing, rap type stuff. Like, the next music is going to explain, explain it all because we've grown just so much when it comes to the music side, too. So it's like, I just feel like when we put everything,